today I am reviewing the Vivitar Bluetooth headphones in red. I bought these at Walmart for $6. I figured $6, speakers are probably going to suck, but I mean for $6 is a safe gamble. It is model number V50025BT-RED-WM. I will put a link in Amazon and the full model in the description of the video. I did cheat a little bit, it's not true unboxing. I did pair them to my uh, phone and I listened to about a 20 second music clip and they actually impressed me. For $6, these are great, well not great, but great relative to the $6 price point. You open it up. These surprisingly, this headphone surprisingly does have Bluetooth 4.1, which I thought was kind of, I was kind of astonished with. And it has a 160 milliamp battery, which the 38 millimeter Apple Watch, the original, had about 205 milliamp battery, so the battery's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. But, and I haven't done a true battery life test. So, for my uses of only using them for maybe an hour or two outside, I think this is a great value for me. I've um, got a user guide here. Uh, standard Bluetooth specs, 10 meters. First time looking at this. Uh, play, pause, next track, previous track, volume. It does have a microphone apparently for calls. Um, there's some warranty information, which if this breaks at this point, I'm not gonna worry too much, it's $6. Um, connect it, charging the battery fluid, take up to two hours, which isn't great, but isn't horrible. It does say three hours of talk time, three hours of music, and four hours of standby time, which is a little bit more than I was expecting. Um, it's going to be more than I need, definitely. Battery is low, it will beep every 30 seconds, and the indicator will flash red. Um, it will, and there's also a battery meter that will display it on your phone, which I did not show, and it shows you how to pair it through your, with your device. So open it up, nothing fancy, instructions are on top. Take this bit off. Here's the headphones, nice and fancy. Have the box. And we get a nicely wrapped USB cable for charging. Um, does look like it has data pins. So you could use this for actually transferring content with the USB-C uh, device end. Headphones themselves, pretty simple. You have your plus, minus, left, right, and your on button. And then this side is completely solid. So, looks like you can plug in an auxiliary jack. So you have wired, excuse me, you have wired headphones. You have your USB-B, and then there's your light and microphone. You can do spin, which is quite fancy. These expand. These are, I'd say, pretty great for a kid. For $10, you don't really care if they break them too much. They do say right and left. And it includes a decent, decently cushioned leather band. Probably uh, fake leather. Same with the earmuffs. Um, that is it for right now. Again, I listened to Pandora Station. Um, I don't remember what music I was listening to, but they did sound pretty decent for, well, they sound really great for $6. Um, for what I'm using them for, they're going to be kind of perfect. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, any more questions, put them in the comments, and uh, I'll read them, and I'll get back to you on it.